It's a whole hoax. And you know who's playing into the hoax? People like you and the fake news media that we have in this country. And I say in many cases, the corrupt media, because you're corrupt. Much of the media in this country is not just fake, it's corrupt. And you have some very fine people, too. Great journalists, great reporters. But it, to a large extent, it's corrupt and it's fake. promoting a conspiracy theory based on a bunch of lies that are being dredged up on the web. There was a time many years ago that I actually enjoyed watching CNN, MSNBC, CBS, and the rest, if for nothing else than to just hone my debate skills. It was around that time that I started posting my first media bias content on YouTube, although I had been posting on discussion forums like liveleak.com, somethingawful.com, and Above Top Secret. Like I said, it was fun and enjoyable back then, but something has changed. It is downright painful to sit through the blatantly hypocritical partisan diatribe that spews from people who present themselves as truth-seeking patriot journalists who are valiantly defending democracy. It was particularly tedious to sit through the latest propaganda hour with Brian Stelter and his sidekick Oliver Darcy, uh, a man who's known for his work to censor the right on social media platforms. The two lost their minds over Fox News' reporting of the Biden scandals and, in particular, the reporting about Democrats requesting dirt on Trump from Ukraine. I noticed another word that I think... <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that... Is that Chris Reagan or Rachel Maddow? And what's up with those glasses? The unibrow look for those without a unibrow? The president doesn't have evidence for his claims about Biden. What we really mean is he's promoting a conspiracy theory based on a bunch of lies that are being dredged up on the web. And I, and I wonder, Oliver, if news outlets are meeting the moment well enough if, if we're just saying, well, he's, he's saying this uh, without evidence. What lies, Brian? I love now how they're constantly throwing out the label of conspiracy theory and lies, but are never specific about what it is they mean. I assume they're talking about Democrat efforts to get dirt on Trump in Ukraine. If you're not familiar, it was revealed recently in articles from the Washington Post, Fox News, The Hill, and Politico that Barack Obama, the DNC, and three Democrats tried to get investigations and dirt on Trump from Ukraine in the run-up to the election. This this is, of course, very damaging to the double standards that CNN and the DNC are trying to enforce on their political opposition. So we get these ridiculous displays and an attempt to deflect. Is it just me or is Brian Stelter convulsing and having seizures? He must have had a few energy drinks with his donuts that afternoon. I'm guessing that this overexcited preacher act that he's putting on is supposed to strengthen his weak deflections. So this stuff is untethered from reality. That this stuff comes from the internet fever swamps and the president repeats it and, and that does not make it an unsubstantiated allegation necessarily. It means it's just a distorted, uh, it's, it's really poison is the best way to describe it. You know? Ah, of course. Darcy's first instinct is that the media needs to drill a message into their viewers' heads to convince them that reality is whatever CNN and the DNC says it is. This is not the behavior of hard-hitting journalists. This is the behavior of political operatives. Not at all surprising from a guy who's worked very hard to get his political opposition banned from the social media platforms. These are the same people who claimed a smirking, silent kid was somehow the aggressor when two groups of extremist adults descended on them. The same people people that backed up and promoted Jussie Smollett's claims. The same people that promoted that fake Russian news story. The same people that claimed that Trump was a Russian agent for two years. The very same people that claimed you couldn't read the WikiLeaks releases, that you had to go to CNN to find out what's in them. Remember, it's illegal to possess. Uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. These are the same people who claim that Trump was worse than Stalin and Mao. And a laundry list of other debunked fever swamp poison masquerading as unbiased journalism. A lot of uh, what we saw last week was a lot of these talking points really fall apart when they entered the, the real ro world. Hmm. Um, whereas they, they still are allowed to thrive on Fox. And you know, you just played that clip where people are talking about coups and civil wars. It's 
really disturbing stuff. And I actually kind of wonder, uh, Lachlan Murdoch, you know, the head of Fox, how does he really look at himself in the mirror every morning? Okay, first of all, the stories that are out there about Democrats asking Ukraine to open investigations into Trump and requesting dirt on Trump were reported by several different outlets, including those that lean left like Washington Post and Politico. He doesn't mention them, just Fox News, because this guy is a liar and a deceiver whose job it is to destroy their business business and political opposition. Second, he mentions talk about coups and civil wars and puts the blame on the head of Fox News. What he doesn't mention are all the leftist pundits in the media constantly talking about uprisings and civil war. For example, there have been several pundits on MSNBC who have claimed that we're on the verge of civil war without any hand wringing or concern from the likes of Oliver Darcy. Donald Trump we will not have a peaceful transition. He will tell his people to take the streets. I know that sounds extreme. I believe Donald Trump is not beyond starting a civil war. I don't know where Donald Trump is wants to take this, but it's, it's wherever it is, it's going to be dangerous. It could lead to some sort of horrible civil war. Trust me, just do an internet search and see for yourself. All of the networks have had pundits talking about civil war. And why wouldn't they? The country is clearly split into two increasingly divergent sides. Something that I believe is occurring as a direct result of the media's biased coverage. Their tactics are so obvious, they simply accuse their opposition of what they're currently engaged in. At this point, I'm honestly not sure if they're just stone cold liars or if they really are just this blindly partisan. That's all I have for you today. Please. Hit that like button. I'm told it will help my video to get recommended. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification while you're at it so you can be alerted to all my new content. As always, thank you for watching and keep coming back.